everyone, so today I am doing a mall haul for you guys and if my lips look a little bruised or lumpy, I literally just got my lips done not more than a few days ago. So they're still a little sore, a little swollen, a little bruised and um, I know they kind of look a little lumpy because one side of my mouth bruised a little more than the other. And they're actually kind of flaky, excuse me, I'm like sp spittling, mm, because they're really dry still so I'm sorry if I sound weird or something, I'm still getting used to them. They don't like hurt or anything. But they just feel a little firm, so if I'm like talking weird in this video, I apologize. But um, I really wanted to do a haul for you guys because I haven't in a while and I haven't actually shopped in a while, which is a good thing because you all know I kind of have a little bit, just a teeny bit of a shopping addiction. So it's actually a good thing that I haven't been shopping. But I went to the mall more to kill time with my sister. We actually went to just go eat and then go to Target because my Target's in a mall, which is dangerous for me. Um... But I'm going to show you some of the stuff we got. So the first place I went to was the Hello Kitty store. It wasn't really the first place, but it's the first bag I'm going to show you guys. Um, it was right next to the Proactive kiosk. <laughs> we have a little kiosk in our mall that sells Proactive, and I usually get mine on a month, like a three-month system, but I go through it really quickly. So um, I usually have to end up buying a backup. It just doesn't come in time, so I always need a little bit of a backup. I use a lot of Proactive on the regular, so that's why um so what i got at the hello kitty store i only got one thing so be proud of me and it's a purse and i really didn't need a purse but honestly guys i saw this and it was like the cutest little thing ever i put it on i felt like such a little barbie in it so this is the desk bag it comes in it is by loungefly and loungefly hello kitty purses are the cutest and i know i just recently got a lot rid of a lot of my hello kitty purses on ebay um but the loungefly ones are just like everything to me i just i always keep those bags so this is what the bag looks like it is super cute and dainty I absolutely love it. I loved the shimmer, the color, the size of it. I just thought it was like the cutest little thing ever. It's just so freaking adorable. It is a perfect everyday bag for me because lately I have been carrying around so much in my Celine bag, which is over there, um, and it, it does kind of get wearing on you. It kind of hurts a little bit, so I thought this would be a nice little change up. It's big enough for an everyday purse, but not super big where I'm going to throw my whole life into it. So next I went to the Mac store. I got quite a bit of the Mac store. I actually um, got my makeup done that day because I hadn't done my makeup and I was like, okay, I just want to get my makeup done. I don't ever, ever get my makeup at MAC because I've heard horror stories that they're like all about the sales. They're not really about the artistry anymore. So I've never really done it. Um, so this was my first time and basically um, you sh they, they recommend you make an appointment. I just walked in and there happened to be someone available. So I'm sure it's always like that. But um, yeah, uh, you just, all you have to do is pay $50 or get $50 worth of product, which is Mac, you can spend that on two products, so it's really, uh, a really quite a good deal. So it was kind of, I was kind of happy they actually did it. I did this like really pretty green and yellow look inspired by the Christina Aguilera Mac way back in the day. Google image it. Um, so we kind of did a look like that. I got a ton of stuff actually. I've never tried Mac um, foundations, and everyone says that it's totally awful for your skin and it breaks you out completely, but that it gives you a really nice full like matte cover matte finish full coverage finish sort of thing so I thought okay I've never tried it I've always wanted to and I am not one to usually well I do listen to what other people say to an extent but I've always just wanted to try a matte foundation so I got the face and body foundation and the match master SPF foundation bronze spectrum in the color C3 and 4.0 I believe she mixed this on my face that's why I got it um so this is what the uh face and body foundation looks like and she just applied this with a beauty blender or the MAC beauty blender um she applied this but she mixed it with this which is why i got this as well and this is what this looks like the match master spf foundation in 4.0 so she put these two together in like a little mixing thing which is so crazy because they look so completely different but it worked really well so hopefully i'll be able to match it just the same and either way it's pretty good because sometimes i am this dark where i just need this alone and sometimes i'm this light where i would just need this alone so got those two the next thing I got is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This is the powder she put over me in medium. I believe I actually already have one of these, um, but the new packaging sort of threw me off a little bit. So I was just like, I need that, even though I think I already have the actual product itself. Um, but it just looks like this, and it's a really pretty matte. I just thought I had a really nice finish. It's the Mineralized Skin Finish. I thought I had a beautiful finish when she was... Um, when she was all done, I couldn't, I mean, my skin looked really good, and I was having some major breakouts that day. I was surprised at how, um, at how flawless it was. Um, okay, moving on to some eyeshadows. I did get the refills because I have quite a few MAC shadow palette, pan, whatever you want to call it. So I just got the refills, which are $5 less than if you were to get the individual ones. And I got the Sour Lemon, which she used in the crease. 
the Humid, which was the deepening one, and then the Sunny Spot. I'm sorry. Sunny Spot she used as the blending color. Sour Lemon she used in the crease, and then this was to darken up like the outer V and just a little bit in the crease. And it just was a really, really pretty eye. Um, you guys have seen it in my... I'm trying to think. I did a video with like a green and yellow eye. Um... Oh, the one I did with Gigi, duh. The one I did with Gigi has the eyes. She was with me when I got all this stuff, so. Um, okay. Then I got the Graph Black Technical Liner, which she used on the bottom. And honestly, guys, this stuff is nothing short of a miracle. I'm not even kidding. I was completely sold with the way it went on. But then it just didn't smudge at all, like, at all throughout the day. I'm so, so excited for this purchase. It's just like a little crayon. It actually reminds me of the one that I use now, my Holy Grail product, the Clinique. Um, the Clinique crayon that's similar to this in New Black. I flippin' love this so much. It is such a wet, intense black on your eye. I think it's so, so pretty. I'm so happy I found it. She's like, I swear by it, and I swear by it now. Um, and then I got a, this is a repurchase. I got the Floor Abundance, because we were talking about lip combos. Gigi's like, oh, what lip combo do you use for, like, nude? Because she's, like, getting into the nudes. And I said, oh, I use, like, Myth and Floor Abundance. And the makeup lady's like, that's what I use. So everyone was like on this Floor Abundance kick, so I got another Floor Abundance, um, which I need on my lips. There's something happening right now when I put this lip gloss over my lips up. It's feeling a little, a little stringy, a little chappy, if you know what I mean. So let's just put some of this on. My lips are still a little bruised, so I'm sorry if that's, like, distracting you, but I think it's really, really pretty. It's not much different than what I had on earlier, which I think was, like, let the good times roll. This is the Reflex Glitter, and she did this amazing little mix mashup thing with the Naked Pigment. So, this is Reflex Glitter and Reflex Pearl and Naked Pigment, and she used this as a highlight, like, around here. Oh, my gosh. It was the most gorgeous thing. Even Gigi's like, oh, my God, can I have some of that on my face? And it looked so flippin' flawless on Gigi. It looked so flippin' flawless on me. It was, like, the coolest little thing ever. She was so good. Like, I, like, so was impressed by how my makeup turned out. Like, I was really skeptical. But, yeah, she mixed these two together. And she actually gave me a little pot to mix them in. Yeah, this thing. So, like, I can mix it in here and it's already, like, pre-ready to go, which I think they should... I believe they sell these. I don't know. She just gave me it. And so you can mix these two together. And it's like the prettiest highlight. Just like a very, very little like right here. It was like the most gorgeous little shimmer thing ever. Like literally so gorgeous. I just was like in shock. Um, and then, oh, I have another shadow. Oh, this is Lucky Green. So she might have used this also to deepen the crease. I know she did like three deep. So there's probably like a blending color, a crease color, and then like a deepening the crease color, and then the outer V was the really dark one. So this is Lucky Green, which is just a little bit darker. This would probably be the third color she applied to the crease, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Um, then I got the MAC Hot and Naughty 2 Black Lash, and actually I got this for free because we actually ended up going into a private room, which was an extra like $50 or something. Um, but it was, but you got a free mascara with that. So she just, I said I've never really used ma mascara, which I think I might have used, I might have had one at one point, but I just don't remember using it all that often. So she got me this. She said she absolutely loves it. There's like a primer and like a lengthening thing. I'm not really too sure. So it's like you put one of these on first. You guys should, actually you guys should let me know because there's two little things right here. And I don't know. So there's like a little one, which I'm assuming you put the little one on first and then the big one on after, or maybe vice versa. Let me know if you guys have this because I, she just like literally she threw this in because she, oh, you get a free mascara. She goes, do you want me to pick out one? I said, sure, because I didn't really know. So if you guys have ever used this, let me know. And then I got three pairs of lashes. One that I was wearing that day, which was the... 833 oh yeah okay so there's numbers so this is was the 833 that I wore that day and then I just picked these out random actually she picked them at random I was like I'll get those too I think I'm saying these numbers right 844 which are these and then these are the C3 AC3 just like random ones she brought into like use for that look and I was just like I'll take them all because I don't have MAC lashes and I get mine super cheap for like a dollar so there's really not a point I was just caught up in the little MAC extravaganza party we were having and then I got a satin lipstick and sushi kiss which is so funny because like Gigi said that she thought I was wearing this in a video so she got it and then it looked then I got it because I was like oh my god I need that too and I think it's a really really pretty um like orangey nudie pink it's like orange but like not I don't know coral sushi kiss I, I just thought it was like so gorgeous and I had to get it with my new lips okay so back to this mall day with my sister so 
that was from a separate mall day with Gigi, and these were all back from the one the mall day with my sister when I got the Hello Kitty first. Um, I got I went to Sunglass Hut, which I don't like that store. I don't even know what was that. Oh, by the way, this is for my sister. We got glass cleaner for our sunglasses and our prescription glasses. Well, actually, I got it, and then my sister's like, oh, I'll just do some of yours. And I was like, how much are they? And he's like, $10. I'm like, I'll get you one, too. So I have to remember to give her that today, actually. Um, but I never go on sunglass hat. I don't know. I just think it's like... <sighs> I always see like Oakley's and stuff. Not that like there's anything wrong with Oakley's. They're just sporty sunglasses and I just don't really wear sporty sunglasses. But I saw these and they were so gorgeous. These were the ones like on display in the middle and I was like I have to see what they are and then I realized they were Dolce & Gabbana and my very first pair ever of designer shades were Dolce & Gabbana. It was the flower floral ones from last spring. I just like love those glasses so much and then these were just to die for. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> okay so these are the Dolce & Gabbana glasses which I think are just gorgeous just this. I just like the thick frame, the big black boldness. Um, but then what's so cute is the inside of it. I know no one sees the inside, but I kind of love that you can see like a hint of this from the side. I think it has a nice, like this has like clearness around it. I've already worn them while well, in the store. I just think it's so, so pretty. These are so classic. I just think, I just felt like literally like a movie star, like Marilyn Monroe. I mean, like this this bag I mean obviously you guys probably don't think it goes but this is so cute I just like uh so obsessed I just I thought they were like the cutest things ever like you do you see what I'm saying like with the clear there's like a clear rim around the whole glasses which kind of gives it a nice little depth and not just black but I was just I thought these were just like perfect for my face I mean I don't know maybe you guys would disagree but I have such a big face that big glasses like definitely uh, make me feel a little more a little less self-conscious about how big my head is and my face. I have a huge face and a huge head. If you ever see me in person, I just have a really big head and face. But I meet a lot of, well, when I met a lot of celebrities, they have big heads too, so it makes me feel a little bit better about my own situation going on. Random, I know, but my sister, this is when I was with my sister, she wanted to go in GNC, which is a vitamin supplement health store, which I've never even set foot in because I feel really self-conscious in those kind of stores. I feel, um... I don't know. I feel like they're judging me. Like, I walk in there and they're like, mmm, you really take supplements about, you know what I mean? I don't know. But they were very friendly and very nice and very helpful. Um, they were all, like, muscle guys and a little, like, douchey, tool baggy looking. But they were so nice and they help, were very helpful. Um, so, I got a couple things at GNC. I think she, my sister actually wanted to get Quest Bars, which was the reason we went in there. And I was like, okay, I always can use some little snack bars. So, I got the cookies and cream ones just because they looked really, really good. Um, I don't, I don't consider these snack bars. I consider them like meal replacements. Like if I don't want a whole meal, I'll eat this instead. Um, which I'm kind of trying to get on a little bit of a weight loss thing. Not too much. I just, I gained like probably, I don't know, 10 or 15 pounds recently. I'm just like trying to, to get a, like a little bit of a healthier lifestyle in there and not eat so much portion control. So instead of eating three big meals a day, I like try and replace at least two with meal bars. And then these I got just as if like when I'm craving something sweet. I know they're not like great for you. I'm not saying like they're healthy, but um, I figured these are probably a little bit better than Reese's because it only has one gram of sugar and 20 grams of protein. So if I do crave something sweet, I can have one of these pop in my fridge. And then this was like a random buy, but um, I saw them at the checkout and then it was buy three, get one free. So my sister got one as well because um, I got, well, she got two as well. Um, the first thing I said, oh, the vitamin C. So I wanted to get the vitamin C because I really don't, I know I don't get enough vitamin C. And so I got, I got these. They're to provide immune and essential for healthy bones and teeth. And they're soft chews. And then when I looked over at the other options they had, they had some, um, appetite suppressants. And so this is one with green tea, helps support weight loss and metabolism. And he said these were the best tasting. So these are chewy. These are garden greens, lychee, mango, super fruit chew. And then these are the vitamin C. So these are by GNC. I guess these are by garden greens, but I got them at GNC. So that was my healthy part. I was really, I just felt, I felt motivated. I just, just have some suppressants that day because um, or, to, I mean, to eat better, you know what I mean? I don't know. Even, like, the suppressants, even if they don't work, I think when you take them, you mentally think, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hungry right now, because I just took a suppressant. I don't know. I'm crazy. Okay, um, just a few more places I went to Sephora and Target. So, I went to Sephora, and I am a VIB Rouge member, so I got this little bag. My sister's like, how did you get that fancy bag? I said, I'm VIB Rouge. And this was a free gift for VIB Rouge members. Um, but I just picked up a few little things. I have a Tums in here, because my tummy was sick. I didn't get that. Um, I got these for plane traveling. I just thought they were kind of cute, and I have been traveling a lot lately, and I'm going to be traveling a lot more. So, um, 
So I got these uh, just, you know, little see-through things for the plane because I have gotten stocked with carry-ons that don't have my liquids in see-through things. It's hit or miss. Sometimes I get stopped, sometimes I don't, so I don't like to take chances. And I just picked up a few little things because my sister was in there buying presents for my mom and our sister-in-law. So I just picked up a few little things, like nothing crazy. I got this little um, cute teal makeup pouches uh, or makeup pouch, singular. I got um, these makeup brushes. My sister actually saw them and I wanted them and then I got one for my sister as well. What caught my eye about these was one, I thought the color, I was like really drawn to this emerald green, but I like that they had two face brushes. This is like one of the only sets that come with actual two face brushes, which is what I need the most on the go, even though I, I just got a, I'm obsessed with brush sets. I just got a brush set, but I just, I feel like one day I may be broke and I won't be able to afford brush sets, so I need to like stock up on that now. I know that's crazy. I'm just going to say that. Um, and then I got a mini brush because it like matched really well with the teal. Like they have this whole little teal setup, so I kind of just like grabbed a bunch of things and like threw them in my little baggie. And then I got the hair ties. So like they all kind of have this little thing. So I got that and then, um, which is weird because my beauty card, I think I lost my beauty card that day. Okay, well, what else? This is the free gift I got. It comes in a little black pouch, and it's a really nice free gift if you are VIB Rouge. If you don't have a Beauty Insider card, you can build up to being a VIB Rouge. It's kind of I wouldn't say it's like totally worth it, but like if you're going to spend money anyways, it's nice to get something back once in a while. So I got, these are just a bunch of little samples. This is uh, Makeup Forever HD Definition Blush. This is a Laura Mercier Primer, Buxom Mascara, and Escada Born in Paradise. I thought I said Porn in Paradise. Born in Paradise. Oh, this is the Laura Mercier Primer. A little Benefit Watts Up. Dr. Jart Beauty Balm and Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 5 in 1 Styling. Smooths, volumizes, conditions, strengthens, polishes. I actually heard really good stuff about this. Oh, and a little Complete Eye Renewal Balm. So I got quite a bit in this little bag as well. My sister wanted it, and usually I'm like, okay, take it. But then I look and I was like, no, wait, I want that stuff. I'm sorry, my forehead looks so huge. I need to get like bangs. Do you guys think I should get bangs? I'm having like forehead issues lately too. I think it's because I have this like weird outgrowth of hair right now. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> Such a narcissist. Okay. Target, just really quick. I didn't get like anything that exciting there. I got these called boogie wipes um, that were in the baby section. Gentle saline wipes for stuffy noses. I just thought they were super cute. The reason I was in the baby section was to get my baby wipes for my makeup, sex, all-purpose baby wipes and I get them in the baby section and then I saw these little boogie wipes so I said okay I need those uh, like a freak and then I got um, a pair of jeans from Target and they look like this and um, I just I just got up a size so I just bought one pair of jeans because I want to go back down in size but I have to live in the moment you know what I mean like, I mean I have to live my my life I can't go with no jeans so I bought just a cheap pair of those and then I got this top which I thought was super Super cute as well, and uh, it looks like this. Just a flowy, like long sleeve bat wing top, kind of cute, because they have all their fall clothes out. And then I did get a flannel shirt, which I got rid of a bunch of bunch of flannels lately. I don't know what possessed me to get this, but I really thought the color was really pretty. It's kind of like washing me out now because I don't really have that much makeup on today, but I just thought it was a pretty color with like a white tank underneath and jeans. Just I love it. Fall flannels and fall are like my thing. My sister always tells me I look really like masculine when I wear flannels, but eh. the final thing I got at Target were a pair of boots, and I, again, I just got rid of a bunch of Target shoes, so I'm like, I really didn't need them, but I really like these. These are combat boots, and I got rid of almost all my combat boots, but what I liked about these were like the buckles. They looked very Alexander Wang or McQueen, one of those at Saks. I just really, really liked it. I wanted a pair of boots like this at Saks that were like $3,000. So I thought, mm, $30 or $3,000. I don't even think they were that much. They were, I don't know how much they were. I really don't think they were even $30 though. So I don't know. I, like I said, I got rid of most of my combat boots and I still would like a pair without having to buy so many. Is it on in the front? Oh, I don't know. Okay, but they're by Mossimo. Target shoes are of good quality. I was just get, I just had so many. I was trying to get rid of shoes in general. And, um, yeah, I just remember getting rid of so many of my black combat boots, which is silly. But at the time I was cleaning out, I just wanted to get rid of everything. And then I got rid of too much. And I'm like, wait, I have no clothes. So I just went and got those. And I'm pretty good at restricting myself, though. I've gone to Target quite a few times and seen cute shoes throughout the summer. And I didn't get them. Resisted the urge. So pat on my back. I think that's everything. 
Okay, so yeah, that is everything for me. This mall haul was so different than the shops I normally go to. I did get something at Victoria's Secret, but I already worn it. And sometimes when I already wore, wear things, I just don't haul them. But you probably have already seen it in a video, and you probably know because it says pink on it. I'm sure you guys will be able to tell what I got from Victoria's Secret. So sorry I didn't say that for you. Sometimes I just dip into my haul piles, but um. Yeah, that was everything. I hope you guys did enjoy this haul. If you guys still enjoy my hauls, be sure to let me know. Um, because when I do get stuff, I can totally haul it for you guys. I've just been toning down on my shopping, so I apologize if you guys missed the hauls. But, um, you know, I can't be a hoarder. I was literally drowning in my stuff. So, anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and go. I will say hi to Rick Moranis. And until next time, here are my kisses for my little baby fishies. Mwah! Bye, guys.